the immediate aftermath of a suicide bombing, but with a difference. The bomber did not appear to be carrying anything. Instead, investigators believe he'd hidden the explosives inside his own body. His target, the prince on the right, is the head of Saudi counterterrorism. Shortly afterwards, he tells the king of his miraculous escape. The body bomb, if we can call it that, was part of an elaborate Al-Qaeda trick, and this is how it worked. Here's the bomber, a 24-year-old Saudi Al-Qaeda fugitive hiding in Yemen. He rang the prince, pretending that he wanted to surrender to him in person. In late August, he crossed into Saudi and flew in the prince's plane to Jeddah. No one detected his hidden bomb. At the prince's palace, some say he wasn't even searched. Others, that he passed through several layers of security. Now, he was next to the prince. Together, they phoned another Al-Qaeda militant, trying to bring him in. This is their actual recorded conversation. But the prince was being duped. A mobile phone now triggered the bomb inside Abdullah, killing him and shocking the security world. This incident has tremendous implications for airport security with the potential of making it even more complicated to get onto your plane. Because if it really is true that the metal detectors couldn't detect uh, this person's hidden explosive device, that would mean that the metal detectors as they currently exist in airports are pretty much useless. The device was assembled in Yemen in one of the wild, ungoverned spaces where Al-Qaeda has re-established its Middle Eastern presence. They even put out this propaganda video afterwards. Here's the Saudi bomber, Abdullah Lassiri, brandishing the device he's going to put inside him. His headdress is Pakistani, implying he may have spent time training in the tribal territories. Using an internally hidden device marks a radical departure from the rucksack London bombers of 2005. It's also a step further on from Al-Qaeda's liquid bomb plot of 2006, the scare that triggered a whole host of new precautions at airports, measures that may now have to be rethought and updated once again. Frank Gardner, BBC News.